Bridging gaps and learning culture. A Red Lake Ojibwe camp kicked off today for the native youth, and our Brenda Mack recaps its first of three days. It is never too late to get back to your roots, nor is it ever too early. It's fun, yeah. and we like to learn, and we like to learn new things. That's why the Red Lake Nation are making sure there's always an opportunity to learn. That's how leaders are born. You find out the qualities and gifts people have. The Red Lake Culture and Language Camp returns for its fourth year for the youth of tomorrow. And only in its first day, it is apparent that the Ojibwe language is staying alive. Because if we wanted to make dresses for people when we were older, we could and we would know how. And the camp keeps growing. Since the program first started four years ago, the number of sign-ups have tripled. That's what makes me sleep at night, you know, it's even if it can affect one, or even if it can affect uh, uh, a thousand people or one person. You know, you did your duty in life and you, you, made, you made headways, I mean, because everything you do has that rippling effect. The camp is all about bridging gaps, learning from the elders and hearing their stories. A lot of our children don't really have too many role models that are and so things like this can show you who you have, what you got and why it's important. So, yeah. And for some, it starts at home. I want my kids to be able to speak our language by the time they're probably, you know, an adult. So that's what I'm hoping because it starts, I think it starts in the homes more than it does activities. Just like anything, you know, uh, the more they're around it, the more it's going to be nor a norm. Yeah. So I'm hoping that by the time, you know, we're older and maybe gone, that they're, they're all speaking fluent. Organizers are open to more sign-ups in the next two days. In Panima, Brenna Mack, Lickman News. And if you're interested in signing up for the camp, we have more information on our website at lptv.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.